Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at AirDrop. So AirDrop is a new way to transfer files between Macs if you're using Mac OS X Lion. And it doesn't require that the two Macs be on the same Wi-Fi network like regular file sharing. So the way it works is it uses the Wi-Fi chips and antenna in your Mac and it looks for other Macs running Lion. And if it finds one it can create this side channel. It's kind of a second channel to the one that it's primarily using to connect to the network. It will connect directly from Mac to Mac. And because of this it needs to have a Mac with the most recent Wi-Fi chips. So probably something in 2010 or 2011. Otherwise you just won't see AirDrop as an option when you look in the Finder. Now if it's capable of having this second channel then it can communicate using AirDrop directly from one Mac to the other. It doesn't have to go through the Wi-Fi network and the machines don't even have to be hooked up to the same Wi-Fi network. So here if I look at my Finder window I've got AirDrop here on the left. If you don't see AirDrop listed here and you don't see it under Go AirDrop that means you have an older Mac and it doesn't support AirDrop. You have to have the latest Wi-Fi hardware in order for it to support AirDrop as I said. So uh, let's go to AirDrop and it'll look for computers nearby. Now you can see at the bottom here this is the current Mac I'm using. Up here is another Mac that is nearby. Not on my network, just nearby. So I can actually send files to this. Let me go and take this text document here and drop it over here. And it'll ask me to confirm. I'll say yes. And then it'll say waiting for the other computer to accept. And there'll be a, another prompt on the other computer. So let's do it the opposite way here and let me send a file from the other computer. I'll just set that up here and I will just drag and drop for the MacBook Air and it's going to ask me to confirm there. You can't see that. Now you'll see the other end of it. And you'll see, ah, something's been sent. What do you want to do? Save and open, decline, or save it. If I save it, it will go down into the downloads folder. So just like if you downloaded something from an email or from Safari. Now the two Macs need to be very close, probably in the same room for this to work. The reason is is because the Wi-Fi networks have to be within range. Now using regular file sharing you may be sharing with another Mac that is in another part of the network. A network may span an entire building at work or even a campus at school. And you can share with a computer that's pretty far away. But for this to work the two machines have to be close to each other. In this way it's kind of similar to Bluetooth file sharing. Maybe there's a little bit better distance they can get between them and certainly better speed using AirDrop. As a matter of fact AirDrop is kind of similar to Bluetooth file sharing where you're kind of sending a file and somebody else is accepting it. It's nowhere near the capability of regular network file sharing. So if you have that going on in your house or work continue to use that. One of the big advantages of using regular file sharing is you can connect with another computer send files to it and they'll appear on the computer. You can even go to another computer and grab files from it. Here it really takes two people, one accepting and one sending for a file to go. So if you've got two Macs and you want to find a good way to transfer files between them, stick with regular file sharing, not AirDrop. I see this being very handy uh, in schools and organizations or in casual meeting places like uh, coffee shops and such when you want to send somebody a quick file and there's no network available for you to be able to do regular file sharing. Hope you found this look at AirDrop useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.